Yo, what is happening? Welcome back to Anthony HD Gaming. We are back and it's been an interesting month and a little bit um, since we last met. Started to drop off a little bit again. Um, where did we finish up last time here? Yeah, we finished up here. So after that game we went on, we defeated Tunbridge, who were second in the league at the time. 3-2, I was starting to feel a lot more positive, some good results. We Hampton and Richmond 2-1. We beat Whitby in the FA Trophy second round, which I really wasn't wanting to qualify too much for, to be honest. 3-1 win, 3-1 win again on Maidstone. Then... A little bit of the rot set and we lost to Warving 2-1. 4-0 against Chelmsford, then a 3-0 and a double header in the FA Trophy and National League South. Last couple of games we'll have sort of fell off a little, losing 3-2 away from home to Truro. And a 2 each draw with Dartford. We are back now for the Hemel Hempstead double header. We are sitting... Yeah, 50 points, 8 points behind Yeovil. Um, you would start to think that Yeovil now are probably going to automatically qualify, if you had to be absolutely honest. Um, I mean, it could still happen. Do I think it will? No. Torquay, by the way, who had a 10-point deduction. They're up there. They're in it. Um, they started 10 points minus. They're here. A little bit of transfer news. Oh, 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 don't want to. Okay. So Charlie McDonald left on a free transfer. The young Marcelo, who never really got going for us, never played a game. And we have now got three hundred and three hundred one pounds a week to spend on transfers. We've got a few recommendations here, but nothing that's taken my fancy other than maybe Dowling. Um, but I am very aware that we are going to probably need something to give us a bit of reinforcements going into crunch time of the season because we're now obviously going into the stage where we're probably going to be hitting the playoffs and that's a big thing so let's do the Hemel Hempstead games and then let's see where we're at there these are two pretty massive games for us okay so every single game at the moment is a cup final um Got a lot of problems here, actually, from what I can see. Blackman going to come into the squad, and he will be that ball winning midfielder. Hoddle will make the bench because Rousseau is unfit and couldn't play a full game. Jordan Aina going to creep back in. Dan Bowery as well. That's a, that's a big problem. Uh, got a lot of tired men out there. Okay, we've had some bids for Weiss, by the way, gentlemen. Griffiths out injured. So it's going to be, as you were, um, going to give Rousseau as long as we can on the pitch. We're going to need that. Where is the big man? There he's there. There he is there. Okay, why are we not playing the big man? We are now. So Hammond going in also. Right, that's probably about as best as we can do for the team at the moment. Um, and let's get it. Let's get it. I need to speed up the old... Uh, slow down, sorry. The replays and things, because I think I took them off while I was doing those games, just because I can watch it at super speed. And... It's not as good if we don't watch it at super speed on these games. I feel like these games are like big events. It's like I'm showing up. We've got the live TV audience here. Come on, Albans. 
have been looking at a few players. Um, it's going to be tough though to get someone in the door with the money that we actually have at the moment. That's poor from Rosillo, Gasper, Bisco down to Whitaker. Whitaker, that is no way is that a penalty. You're joking. He's not joking, and Whitaker steps up, and Roberts with the big save. Big, big save from Roberts there. Well done. That's why he's here. The Watford man, I think we're going to try, and I'd love to get him permanently. He's one of the most unsung heroes of this team, is that man, Miles Roberts. What a goalkeeper, especially for this level. He's been phenomenal. He really has. Unfortunately, they actually probably want money for me. He's out of contract at the end of the season, however. So perhaps we could maybe do a little something there. Come on, lads. Very quiet here. They've been very quiet. Oh, no. Come on, let's not lose this game. Oh, how is that not went in? How is that not went in, Roberts? Big save again. Um, very disappointing so far. I feel like we're getting a bit dominated here. Hmm. Okay. Nah, we've, we've not played well, and if they're not happy with me saying that, then they're at the wrong club, I'm afraid, because it's been so poor here. <laughs> Blackman's not having a great game. Okay, let's try and... Rasul can't play the full match. He just can't do it. He doesn't have the legs for it. So what we're going to do is bring on Weiss. I'm going to give Blackman another... Oh, man, so it's not having a great game either, actually. Okay, Mensa's a problem there. Mensa's going to have to come off because he's booked as well. Sean Jeffers, we're going to try and let run the game for as long as possible. Big man's on prolific form at the moment. Mensa's coming off. Ina slots into his position and Ben Wyatt comes on. Blackman's very tired. Taylor sends it forward. Come on, lads, that's better. Win the second ball, Jeffers, onto Wyatt, onto Tormey. Switched wing now, Tormey, and that's a pass forward, Jeffers misses it, but Weiss, Mitchell Weiss, 1-0, that's a big goal. Big, 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 big goal for the St. Albans team. Why do we not get a replay? I would. Okay, I'm not getting replays even though we've got them. Turned on. Okay, 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One is the, the scores of the doors. Whitaker now takes it forward. Clark down to Borgie. On to Banton. Banton. It's a good run. He's been very good, Banton. We've not been playing Banton. But every time I've gave him a little shot, he's looked the part, Borgie. Um, he definitely offers something different. Mitchell Weiss, another tactical masterclass by me bringing him on in that attacking midfield position. 70th minute. This would be a massive, massive win. Yeovil again, absolutely decimating, taunting at the moment. 3 1 in that game. Yeovil are unstoppable. So I think we maybe might need to just re resign to the playoffs. But you never know, and Mitchell Weiss makes it 2-0. And he has been phenomenal since he's come on. It's a good goal from Mitchell. Scored against his old team, so this is his old team. Good to know. Is the job done, though, is the question. Zane Banton as well, since he's come on, has been phenomenal. And it comes Williams... Big mess, big mess, big mess. Two now. A little bit more difficult than I think anyone was really expecting there. And that was a great one for the lads. 
Where does that bear us to? Surely second. Nilt Worthing have also won their game today. It's tight. It's tight. One thing that I will say is it looks like we're definitely going to be getting a playoff spot. At the very least, a playoff spot. So I was, it's up for grabs. It's had. Okay. Right. So we go again for the double header. So let's go to the double header. Okay. Here we are, back again. Um, big problem just came in there. Um, obviously, our goalkeeper has came down with a heavy case of the flu, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, which I'm not going to lie about. I'm not overly impressed with. I think he's taken a dive. Dan Bowery is back and will be going back in. Parrington as well will be going back into the squad. Add Hoddle coming on to the bench. Not going to change too much. You know what we are actually? We're going to give Zane Banton a start. We're not going to drop Rousseau as of yet. Jeffers is going to start as well. Not scored, but he is a top goal scorer, so sort of must play. Ben Wyatt coming back in for Jordan Aina and Mensa getting the go-ahead. Pretty strong team. Other than the goalkeeper, will that affect us? Or will that affect us? Come on, lads. Every game's a cup final at the moment. Every single match is a cup final at the moment. It really is. Because if we're going to come back on the league and win the league, it's vital we do that now. Vital. Okay, let's go. They're on, they're on a stinker of a run at the moment and hopefully we can keep that pressure on and not have any surprises here. Come on, lads. Um, Whitaker now on the chance, sends it in and over the bar. Over the bar. Come on, boys. Have some pride. We must win this game to keep it on the oval a little bit. Not looking at, I think we've already secured playoffs at this stage, which is above a target. I would like to go up for season promotion, personally, if that is an option. But on this kind of forum, that will not be happening. Very, very poor. On the first half, again, we're going to take off Blackman who again he's not doing it um, Jeffers going to come on going to give Mitchell Weiss that chance against Zane Banton another one who's letting us down let's give it another 5 minutes and see who's actually the real problem we need to leave one sub here because Mens is not having a great game either come on we must win this that's a must, and there goes Torme. He's going to have to come off, and on comes Mema. Unfortunately, come on, lads. Cannot lose this. Or even draw, I think, would be catastrophic. Rousseau on the free kick. Rousseau! He started to fall off just a little bit, Rousseau. Not giving us what we were getting previously. This isn't looking good. Um, let's go more direct. Let's um, start taking a few pops. Let's see how we go. For the last 10. Oh no. Whitaker sends it in. Claridge cleared Gaspar and it's a goal. And you've got to say it's the goalkeeper there. <clears throat> very, very poor. Which has led to the goal. And that might be the Albin season up in smoke. Yeah, that feels like a, a big goal. Um, in the race given that Yovo are not actually losing any games, we should have won this, because this team's not great. 
Judd now. Is there anything left in the tank of the Albans cleared? Harrington picks it up on a Borg down to Mensa. Mensa takes it. Plays in Borg. Hoddle. Rousseau. What a goal, Giorgio Rousseau. That's massive. That is massive goal by Rousseau to make it one each. Five minutes on the clock. Is there anything? Is there a winner in it? There's not. There is not a winner in it. Wow. That is really bad. Ah, that's really bad. That was a rival game, apparently. Um, we are second, but I mean, it's eight points between us and Yeovil, who also drew today. So no damage done, we're sort of as you were. However, we know that's it's not looking good in terms of getting that automatic promotion. Hopefully we can ship a few guys out the door and bring in some new guys and I can already see the game that we're going to come back we're actually going to come back for a double header because there is two massive games um, towards the end of the transfer window so might be a bit of a longer one next one because we might end up having some last minute transfer deals going through and things like that but at the moment we are coming back for the Yeovil game because it's a biggie. That's an absolute biggie. We're at home. If we win that, it would be massive. Then we'll go for Torquay, who are flying, even with that deduction. If we can get two results out of these games and not falter along the way, we are really going into the crunch time, and we really could maybe find ourselves in those automatic promotion spots if you've been enjoying the series let me know in the comment section below do you have any little gems that we could maybe pick up anyone that you would recommend they must be cheap <laughs> they must be cheap if you're recommending anyone and um, thanks everyone for watching i'll see you at the yovo game peace